Hi, I'm Mike Gabby from iSleek Blinds. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install linked roller blinds. And linked roller blinds are a great way to cover your large sliding doors and also large windows, exactly like what, what is behind me. So before I go ahead and show you exactly how to install these products, I fitted this one just before and it came out so well that I wanted to show you exactly what it looked like. Now, this is the Barrier Reef fabric. It's an Australian made fabric. It's manufactured in Wangaratta in regional Victoria. And this is the color silver. Now, link layouts come in lots of different shapes and sizes, and you can really choose exactly how you want it to be uh, regarding the width and where we're gonna put the bearing brackets. And I explain that in all the how to measure videos. This one, this window here was about 3.4 meters wide. So it's too large to put one blind. So we've opted for a link layout number one that gives me independent control of both blinds. And let me show you exactly how it works. So this is a single roller blind. We've opted for the front rolling option because again, we've got these cyclone bars and the handles and winders and things to come across. And we've also used the silent uh, bottom bar. So there's no banging and crashing. Um, and that bottom bar is in the anodized color. So if I roll that blind down, you can see I've got completely independent control of that blind there. And if I move across to this side, I've got completely separate control of this blind here. Now what I end up with, because I've used a link layout number one, is this nice small gap here in the middle between the two blinds. And I hope that you can see how beautiful that looks. Now, let's go ahead and show you how to do the installation. So linked layout blinds come in lots of different shapes and sizes. And with this window behind me or sliding door, I'm gonna show you exactly how to install a link layout number one. But before I do that, let me just quickly recap on exactly what I did. So we're gonna have one blind that's gonna cover these two doors here. And then we're gonna have a single blind on our exit door. So what I've done is I've already pre-installed a male bracket on the left hand side because this is where a chain drive or a motor is going to be. I fitted my intermediate bearing bracket right in the middle of this mullion there because this is exactly where I want my gap to be. And I've got to match the window or match the sliding door. And then I've installed another male bracket on the right hand side. So we're keeping our chains uh, at both ends of the blinds. So nothing hangs down here in the middle of the doors. So when it comes to installing a link layout number one, we always have to do the left-hand blind first. So let's go ahead and make sure that our chain is hanging equal on both sides and our little cover there is at the top. And we can go ahead and fit this blind into the male bracket, just like that. And what I'm doing now is I'm just holding a little bit of pressure um, there towards the left-hand side because I have to click this section into the bearing bracket. So the way I do that is I just push my finger in on the end of the cap and then slide that in and you can feel that's uh, clipped into place really well there. Now, as that clipped in, what I'm looking for is about one millimeter of float from left to right. So I've got that. So what I've deliberately done is I haven't installed this bottom screw so I can get that bearing bracket and I can shuffle it a little bit left and right a couple of millimeters if I don't have that float, but in this case I do. So let's go ahead and fit this second screw. So now that we've got the left hand blind installed, that's the first blind that we need to install. Let's go ahead and give it a little test and make sure that we've got it going up and down nice and smoothly. So far so good. So let's go ahead and install the right hand blind. But before I do that, I just want to show you, this is the beautiful Australian made barrier reef fabric. And this one is the color charcoal. And we're also using the black silent bottom bar. So as you can see, there's no banging and crashing of the blind. The doors open, there's a little bit of wind about. Now let's go and install the right hand blind. So once again, I've got my chain hanging perfectly in the up and down position. I present that to the male bracket, which is just there. Now I'm just holding a little bit of pressure 
And what I'm looking for here is once again, that nice little one millimeter gap of clearance. And when I've got that, I've got to turn this wheel in the anti-clockwise direction, bring it level with the other blind, and then roll that wheel back. And you just heard that click. Now I know that blind number two is correctly fitted into my intermediate bearing bracket. So let's have a test of that one and see what that's like. So now we've got our link layout number one uh, roller blind fully installed. Let me show you exactly what it's gonna look like. So we've got separate control over our exit door. And if I come across to our larger blind, we've got separate control of that one there. So see how that's kept the chains away. So when these doors stack, I've got no chains hanging down here in the middle. Last thing I've got to do is fit the stop balls and the child safe device. So if you like this information, please share, like, subscribe, uh, support the channel, leave any comments in the comments section and I'll write back to them personally. Thanks very much for watching.